Hello everyone, my name is Esteban Maldonado and I'm a developer advocate for Unity. Today I'll be talking to you about our new Netcode library called Netcode for Game Objects. Netcode for Game Objects is a high-level Netcode library that enables Unity developers to add networking functionality to their multiplayer games without the need to focus on low-level protocols and networking frameworks. At its core, Netcode for Game Objects is meant to enable Unity developers to synchronize scene and game object data across multiple application instances connected in the same networking session. Developers can choose to configure one of the clients as a client host or use a dedicated server to host their game. However, at the moment, this networking library is better suited for small-scale cooperative games like our Boss Room and Galactic Kittens game samples. We have our public roadmap available where you'll be able to not just see what new features are being added to this package, but you can also submit your own ideas and suggestions. This networking library is also an open source project and we encourage and welcome contributions from you. And if you want to get involved, be sure to review our contribution guidelines specified in our GitHub repository. You can start making your own multiplayer games right now with components that are ready to use right out of the box. With a few easy steps, you can prepare your scenes and game objects in order to be ready to be synced across a networking session. And for additional help, this package also includes debugging tools for faster bug fixes. Now for beginners, we recommend you explore our multiplayer documentation to first learn the basics of netcode development and follow the Hello World tutorials. And as a next step, you can take a look at our bite-sized sample. These are three very basic samples that can help you start to apply some gameplay features. With the 2D Space Shooter sample, you'll learn more about physics movement and status effects using netcode network variables and object pooling. The Invader sample will show you more game modes and how to use a shared timer. Last but not least, the client-driven sample will teach you about client-driven movements, network physics, spawning objects versus statically placed objects, and object reparenting. And if after all that you're still looking for the next level challenge, well, we got you covered. You can head over to our game samples to see how you can apply all of what you've learned so far to your own solution. We've been developing two great co-op game samples that can help you get a head start in making your own game project with our new networking library. Boss Room is a 3D dungeon crawler where up to eight people can play together and face a horde of enemies and the evil boss at the end of the dungeon. In addition to showing Netco library usage, Boss Room also shows design patterns, good practices, and techniques useful when dealing with live multiplayer games. These techniques include custom session management, network object pooling, latency hiding techniques, and more. For more details, don't hesitate to check out our resources pages at unity.com. Blast off to space with Galactic Kittens, our newest sample 2D game where you'll be able to learn how to apply and synchronize sprite animations, particle effects, and basic 2D movement. As an additional resource, you can join our Unity Networking Discord server where you'll be able to ask questions to Netcode library developers, but also other Unity users that are already making their own multiplayer experiences. And last but not least, you can ask questions in our Unity multiplayer forum. Thanks for watching and learn more at unity.com/netcode.